Hi everyone, this is a, an updated what's in my makeup bag. It's a really, really small makeup bag. Well, I think it's really small anyway, um, because it's the one that I chuck into the nappy bag and put it in the back of the car. Um, I'm still sitting in the back of the car with the newborn baby, um, just because he's still so small. So I squash in the back, we've got Angelica in the back, new baby, baby Ted, and then me. And so there's not a lot of room for stuff so I have my bag and then I have this makeup bag with me. Um, excuse the fact the baby is in the video. When I started filming this, he was asleep. Since then, he's been fed, he's been sick everywhere, and now he's got the hiccups. So it's not going incredibly well, this filming session. However, we only have 20 minutes until Angelica wakes up, and then it will just be sort of game over. Um, so I thought I'd just try and get it done. So that's good. Mr. AMR has come and taken the baby so I can concentrate now. So a couple of things I wanted to show you as well. This is sort of a double whammy video, although I need to do a separate video on good stuff for new mums, you know, like quick makeup that makes you look less tired. Um, but there are a couple of things I want to start with that I think are really, really good, and these would be in that video if I filmed it. Uh, the first one is the Clarins BB Skin Detox Fluid. I've done a review of this on my website, so I'll link to that below. Uh, I just think it's one of the best face bases. It's just brilliant. It really evens out your skin tone. It's got a nice glow to it. It's great, it's oil free, so it's great if you're slightly oily or combination, but it doesn't feel drying. Although if you've got very, very dry skin, then I would probably not go for this one in particular um, because it's not, it feels fresh, but it's not, um, you know, immensely moisturizing. So I've got that on and I think it's great. It's just a really good sort of all in one. The only thing that isn't great about it is the fact that um, the shades just are a little bit off. They're quite dark. Uh, I'm wearing the lightest, lightest shade and I'm not that fair. I'm fairish, but not as fair as being the lightest shade. And in general, there just aren't a lot of different shades for this. The next thing I wanted to show you, you've also seen before in my videos, and this is the Blur the Lines, is that what it's called? Blur the Lines Concealer Stick. This is from Bourjois, and I use the palest one of this as well. What I quite like about it is that it's, it's got an almost dry feel. So you put it on, and it turns almost to a powder. So you don't need anything to really set it. I don't find that it particularly settles in fine lines, although if you had a lot of fine lines or very, very dry skin, again, I'd probably go for something creamier than this. But I like the convenience of it because a lot of the time I'm putting the makeup on in the back of the car and I can literally just scribble it on and blend it in with um, my middle finger or ring finger and it just blends in really, really seamlessly. It's very light and um, I don't know whether you tried the Effaclar BB Blur uh, that I recommended, I think, last year, which is really good for very oily skin and it has a really lightweight texture Again, it's, it's not a powder texture, but it's just so lightweight, it's like putting on air. Uh, that's what this is like. So I think a good bargain buy that one. And then to finish off the skin, I used the Invisible Bronze Bronzer. This is a new one from Bare Minerals. The shade is tan. It doesn't have any shimmery, glittery particles in it, but it's not too flat. You can look very drawn with one of those very flat greyish bronzers. And so this just seems to have the right amount of warmth, just about, um, but it's not so warm that you can't use it in springtime. So it's just, I suppose for me at the moment, it's the perfect shade and that's why I've been using it a lot. And it's just really subtle. So you can be quite useless at putting on bronzer and just build it up gradually. And that works very well, rather than having one that sort of, you know, straight away very orangey brown. And then to freshen things up a bit, I'm just gonna pop a bit more on actually. I've used um, a little bit of blush on the apples of my cheeks. This one is lovely pink, and it's a creme puff blush from Max Factor. I love these creme puff blushes. This one does not have uh, as much payoff on me as I think the one that's called, what's the one that I've used loads? Is it Seductive Mauve or Lovely Mauve? I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description below because uh, I've used that one loads and loads, but I swapped this one in the other weeks. So I thought, oh, I'll go for something slightly different. I like the other one better. Although this one's still nice, but it just hardly shows up on my skin, really. And now onto eyes. I have eyes. Um, 
I've been quite liking these ones from Smashbox. I don't know whether you've seen these, they're very new out. I'm getting really bored of palette launches, I have to say, because there are so many of them, and there are only so many that you can use. I mean, one palette like this would last you, you know, a year or so, even with really regular daily use. Um, but I like the fact it's really small and slender, and it still manages to have a big mirror in it. And it's got a really, really good selection of shades, this one. I don't like the other ones so much in this collection, um, but this one, which is called Golden Hour Eye Palette, I find really, really wearable, and it's got a good selection of sort of warmish tones that look really good with my blue eyes. And then, I'm assuming these are two sort of brightening bases, but I haven't actually used those yet. Should use those. So, um, anyway, I just used a variety of shades on my eyes just to do this sort of look, just to show you what it was like. But I think it's a really useful palette, mainly because, I mean, the shadows are really good. They've got good payoff and stuff like that. But um, it's just so lightweight and so slender. I think it's a really good handbag one. So I think they've done a really good job on that. It's very well designed packaging. The little brushes that I use to apply, if you can spot them, are these miniature Charlotte Tilbury ones. And I sort of picked these out because originally this video was going to be a sort of capsule what's in my makeup bag. So really kind of small things inspired by the fact that this is really well sized. I just thought I'd rather show you what I've actually been using uh, more than hunting around for miniatures of things. But anyway, I tried these out um, to put on these shadows. I'm not sure that I like them as much as a full size brush. But they're pretty handy. I don't know whether they still sell them. They're on the Charlotte Tilbury website. They were around Christmas time because it was um, a Christmas sort of special, I think. I've got billions and billions of these in my makeup bag. Little cotton swipes. Do you know, I end up using these more than brushes, I reckon, when I do eyes. Yes, the other thing that I put on my eyes, into the waterline and um, just in a sort of little flick outwards here, and then I smudge it in. This is the Marc Jacobs Highliner in Rococo. I've used this loads, I talked about it loads last year. These highliners are really, really, really good. Very soft to apply, don't shift once they're on, and um, there are loads of really nice colours that are sort of shot through with highlights of something, so it's really lifting on the eyes, but they're just a singe to use. And then I've done lashings of mascara, I think I did two, two and a half coats of this, False Lash Sculpt from L'Oreal. Uh, this is the one, I've talked about this loads before, that's got the sort of funny comb that's got the bristles on one side. For some reason, even though it looks sort of ridiculous, this one I managed to get really into my roots without getting the mascara all over my eyelid. Um, and I also managed to get it sort of on those inside ones. I mean, I've got quite pathetic lashes, and so lots of mascara ones just don't suit me. But that has been a firm favourite for a good year now, I'd say. I think it might have launched this time last year. Uh, I would have had it a little bit before that. Maybe it was two years. I can't remember now. Anyway, it's really good. I really like that one. Brows, I've just done a quick swizzle through with the Gimme Brow from Benefit. Um, this is the old packaging, this one. Just can't find the new one. Uh, but it's still going strong. I mean, I use it a lot, but that tiny little brush and the sort of tacky formula that's got fibres in it and it bulks out your eyebrows a little bit, just makes them a bit darker. This is the fair colour, this one. Oh no, light medium. don't know whether that's the fairest. Um, you still need to sort of have a little cotton Q-tip to hand just to sort things out. But some of these coloured brow gels, I find that they just go all over your skin and the brushes are too big. And eyebrows are really sort of narrow, aren't they? You know, you don't need a massive brush for them. So listen up, people. Make your brushes smaller and make the formulas a little bit more tacky because otherwise it's just, it's like you're painting your eyebrows on. It's just bizarre. A bit of touche eclair, and I put that on right at the end just to um, brighten up underneath my eyes a little bit more. Just a bit of extra help because last night was a sleep disaster, I have to say. Um, so yeah, that wasn't too great. Lips, I've been going down the road of trying out new things. 
So normally I have very my lips but better shades. Uh, I don't like to make too much effort only because I don't have the time to keep checking it and making sure that everything's okay and that it's not gone over the lip line and it's not on my teeth. But I thought, you know, it's a really easy way to mix things up a bit and make it look like you've made a bit of an effort. And I find it quite uplifting and satisfying, feeling as though I look a bit more pulled together and it's a really easy thing to do. So, last couple of weeks I've been going a bit pink and the most of this pink that you can see is down to the lip pencil, not the lipstick. So I used a lip cheat from Charlotte Tilbury. The reason that I've been using a liner is that um, the pigment in my lips seems to be not disappearing, but the line isn't quite as clear as it used to be years and years and years ago. And I have found that doing a little bit of liner around it and then filling it in, um, just so you don't get that harsh line at the edge, is making them look a lot younger. It's sort of reversing things and slightly plumper as well. And so that's something that I've been doing just to get that definition back. It's mostly in the lower lip actually, and sort of in one area, which can make them look a little bit lopsided, even though they're completely not lopsided, there's nothing wrong with them, but um, it just makes them look a million times better. So if I want to feel a little bit done, that's what I do. If I can't be bothered, then I don't. Same with the eye makeup. I mean, sometimes I just stick on mascara. Uh, most of the time I don't wear anything. Let's be completely honest. And then over the top, I've got the Rouge Volupte de Shine from YSL. This is shade 47. I also love shade 44 in this. And they're very, very sheer um, and easy to wear. When you've just had a baby, you can feel so unglamorous. It's just quite nice to have a couple of little things that perk you up and you can stick in your handbag and you can put them on in 10 seconds and it just makes you feel a little bit more done um, and like a proper human rather than someone that just sits in bed covered in milk and sick. Um, it's not really a look this, so I won't say hope that you've enjoyed this look because it's not, but that is the contents of my makeup bag. Uh, yeah, let me know if there's anything you particularly want me to film coming up because although I have a massive list of stuff, I have complete brain fry and I can't really make any decisions on what to film. So if you want something in particular, then give me a nudge and I shall add it to my list. Make sure you like and subscribe and go over to the website because there are always new posts on there and I shall see you next time.